Hi, hello everyone. Thank you for coming back to join me today. I hope you're okay. Um, I'm just completing or carrying on um, working on my Down by the Sea journal. And if you remember, if you've watched my previous videos, the papers in here are from the paper cameo. Um, I will put a link to her Etsy below in case you want to have a look. I've done a few things since you were with me last. Not a lot. Um, I I have put a couple of these images on here. Um, these are the postcards that I've shrunk down um, and I've just put some fabric uh, threads behind them because I thought it looked a bit seaweedy. I did that. Um, the music paper, I wanted to cover the pockets so that you can see where the pockets are. And I've actually used the fresco paper to cover it because... When I saw that I'd just got this head left because I'd used the papers, I'd torn the paper around the head. And it made me think about a programme I saw on telly once where um, there are ancient cities beneath the sea with statues. And so I thought that she's beneath the sea or he is beneath the sea. Um, and so I've used it because I thought it looked nice. And I thought that's what it it represented to me um, and the same here so I've used that image there to put that on that pocket because again it just reminded me of the sea um, and the statues that you get beneath them what else have I done um, I've put that's an image from Mrs Cog's beach kit or by the sea or seaside kit and I've left it as a pocket and that page it, it was this with that in the picture frame there so I've just put that on I thought that looked nice. All the colours just seemed to match. Um, we did this last time. I made this pocket with you and I've just put some papers in it. And I, the book was open and I was just checking for size and I thought it looked nice next to these crabs. I thought it blended quite well. So I've put that there because I think that's where it might go. Um, what else have I done? I don't think there's much else. Oh, we did that one last time, didn't we? We did the flip and I added some of the fabric at the bottom there. Um, I put another of those up there. I'm trying to think what I've done. I, I made this flip when I turned the camera off last time. So I had this image left over. So I've put a pocket on the front and it's going to be a flip that flips up. And then that'll be a tuck spot just there. And I shrank down the fish and, and a couple of pages. And I think I did them nine to a page and I've just fussy cut them out. And then I've put a pocket there as well. So that's just going to go. I think it's going to go on that page there because I just liked I liked it just there. So I'm going to leave that there to go there. And I've cut that image out there as well. And that was from Mrs. Cog's um, seaside or beach kit. And I just liked it there. I thought it looked lovely. It's kind of from the 20s. Um, and I, so I put that on there. And I don't... Oh, and that. That was the false pocket that we did. Again, that's one from Mrs. Cog at uh, the seaside. And I just thought, it's just such a beautiful image. It has to be used. Um, and I just thought it looked nice on that page there. So that's what I've kind of done. I haven't done an awful lot else, I don't think. Um, I did finish off the other pocket that we were doing which was this one, if you remember. I did that as a flip and then I've actually printed it out again so it's got a tuck spot just there. So it's a flip and a tuck on there and that will go on a on a page as well. So I d we did that last time, didn't we? And I've also cut out the backs. I printed the envelopes out and I've printed a couple on normal copy paper. So these are going to be pockets. So one will flip one will flip that way and one will flip that way. And I'll perhaps put an image or something on there. So I'm just going to back those and have them as flips. So I've got quite a few pockets going on at the moment. Um, I thought that I would do something at the front of each signature. And I'm going to use this envelope. It's one that I've tea dyed. And it's one that, that's that been sent to me. It's from Italy. So it's been sent to me by Rachel Rox's Creations. And I just want to fussy tear something down to go down here just to cover that bit up and I don't know what I don't know what we could have it just dark we could have we could have that I 
this is where I get to I don't really know what I want to do we could have shells could have seashells on it couldn't we that might look nice the seashells do go that way but there's no reason why I couldn't put them up that way is there I think I might do that I think I might use those seashells I was thinking dangerous I know But I was thinking of using that girl on there and kind of fussy tearing it down. That might be nice. I don't know if I can fussy tear it so so precisely. That's my problem. That's my worry. But until you do it, you don't know what you can do, do you? So, how about I get it... The size I kind of want it to start with. Just going for it now, you see. Let's just take that bit off the top there. So that would go on there. It would need to come across a bit more, actually, wouldn't it? So I would need to lose probably that bit. But I won't lose it because I'll save it and use it for something else. So it's going to go down there. So obviously I want her to stay on it. Excuse the dog barking outside. There's always a dog somewhere, you know. So I hope you're all okay. And I might, I might, I might start, I put that little crease there, that'll perhaps indicate to me where I don't need to go past that. Goodness knows what I've done. <laughs> I hope you can see, I hope I'm in screen okay, or on screen. Well, that's not too bad. I can tear a little bit more off there. I just wanted to cover up the writing on the envelope. Although, you know, you might be popping off to Italy for your holidays. We're hoping to perhaps make it that far or go that far. We're still undecided what, where we want to go and what we want to do on our, on our European adventure. But as I said to my husband, it's not, hopefully it's not the first time we're going to be going, so... Whatever we don't do this time, we can certainly do next time. I'm just going to cut. That's not level. And so that is going to go on there like that. And then I'll just cut it off at the bottom. Yep, I'm going to do that. I am going to do that. And then that's going to be a, it's just going to be a flip up so that you can write underneath it and you can perhaps write on the back of this as well and I will look for an image to go in that little gap as well in the little gap in the window that's what I mean isn't it so I'm madly trying to get some videos ahead of time I'd like to get this one finished before we go away so I'm actually recording this these in advance um, Let me just move this closer while I just put that on there. There we go. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get them recorded in advance. So I'm doing this. What date is it today? 9th of May. Because um, I've still got my purple um, tag kit videos going out. I'm just trying to space them out a bit so that I can do a few videos whilst I'm away. Well, I won't do a few videos while I'm away. I'll have a few videos ready and uploaded. But I think this one will be finished and done by the time we go away. Made a bit of a pig's ear of that one, didn't I? It's because I'm trying to cut it when the, um, when the paper's wet. But that's okay. I'm just going to do it at a bit further in. Got a blunt having a blunt knife doesn't help, does it? 
Not at all. So if you have a sharp knife, it cuts through like butter. And cut that bit off the bottom there. They're never perfectly straight, are they, these envelopes? <laughs> I'm blaming the envelope. It's not me, folks. It's that envelope. Okay. So that's like that. And that will go... Um, it's got. I've got a window envelope at the front of that one. So I think this one will go here in the back one. So it's going to flip up. It's just going to flip up so that you can still write on this. So I want an image under there is what I want. I want an image to go there. I don't want coral. I could do a fish going up. No, I don't like that. I like the fish. I just don't like it just there. Oh, I wondered where those printouts had gone. We move those out the way. We have a smaller fish. We have the seaweed there. It's finding something that you like, isn't it? We have those fellas there. Do you know, I think I, I didn't use that one, did I? No, I think I might use those fellas there because either that or that. I might use that. I think I'm going to use that because I think she's there watching for her loved one to come back. He's gone sailing or fishing and she's sat there in her little boat and she's just checking whether he's on there or not or whether he's in that. Or do I want that one? Which do you think? Any preferences? I think that might make a nice tag, so I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use this boat. Okay, use this boat. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to need... Oh, not that boat, this boat. So I need to tear it out. waves in it. And tear it across there. That'll do. Put that in my bits box. And then that is going to stick. Yes, I like that. So I'm going to put the glue. I couldn't think what I was doing then. My brain just went into sleep mode. I'll tell you. My mum's rung me this morning with all her appointments. I think I mentioned to you that she's cramming them all in before we go away. Bless her. She likes things as they are. There we go. So she's looking out on the horizon. See if, if if her man is there in that boat. She's got binoculars there, look. And then I'm just going to cover the back in something plain so that it can be written on. So I'm just going to back it in these in this plain paper. Just thinking I can't do I can't fit it all in can I faff in again folks faff in again I could make a little tug okay right what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rough tear off this edge and across the I don't know if this is the top or the bottom I'm thinking that might be the top. Okay. 
and then I'm just going to glue that on there. I need it off the bottom as well, don't I? Okay. Okey doke, stick it on. Turn the page because, as always, it's sticky. I'm just going to put glue all on this envelope. I may um, stitch around this, but I think I will leave it to dry because it's easier to stitch it when it's not wet. And because I've put the glue on it, it's going to be a bit, a bit floppy for a bit. I want it to dry as flat as I can. I'll leave an edge so that I can just trim that off. And I think what I might do, you know, is that might be, I'm going to hang on to that because I think I might make that into a tuck up on the back of this. I think I might indeed. So I'm going to put that with my um, bits and pieces. And then I'll cut this out and then I'm going to leave it to dry and we'll have a go at doing something else. So I'm hoping that by doing these videos, um, I know this is a beach theme, um, but I think I've said it before, it doesn't really matter what the what theme a person's doing, you can adapt, you know, whatever they're making into the theme that you're wanting to do. Just because this I'm doing these beach themed doesn't mean that you have to stick with a, a beach theme. And I think I will be stitching around that. So I'm going to leave that to dry for now and I just need to trim the bottom, don't I? Trim it off. OK, so I'm going to leave that to dry. But what it will look like, should we have a quick peek, a sneaky peek and see if we like it? I said in the last signature, didn't I? So it's going to go there. That bit's going to fold over at where that lady is. like that and then it will just flip up so I think that's pretty I like that so I'm going to leave that to dry wipe my sticky sticky fingers um, and then in the middle signature what I thought I might do on the front page is I've got a bag and I think it matches the colours of the um, shells so I think I thought I might put a bag on there and I thought I might put the napkin on. I don't know if I want that's just a napkin that's folded in half. I don't want a full napkin, but I might not want. I might want more of it is what I'm trying to say like that and then put an image on here. And I thought. I mean, it could be those fellas, couldn't it, if I tore that down. I don't want to fish. I thought there was a um, those seahorse. I thought there was a seahorse somewhere. Sorry, I'm just trying to look through the papers because a shell. Those shells. Maybe I dreamed that there was a seahorse, or maybe I haven't just haven't printed that page again. A lobster. I thought there was a seahorse. I think what I'm going to do is I do want to use this bag. Why did I think there was a seahorse? You just haven't printed that page again, Carol. There is a seahorse, look. There is a seahorse. Right, one minute where I see if I've got it. OK, I've cut my seahorse out, but he blends in quite well, doesn't he? Because he's all the same kind of colours. So I was thinking whether to put a bit of that on there. This is just some paper that came with some flowers. 
but then he looks a little bit lost and forlorn on there so I didn't like that so I'm wondering then do I just put that on that no that just doesn't look right what about if I back him in that if I glue him on there and then cut round him um, I wonder if that wouldn't just make him show up a little bit more with the green behind well it will make him show up a little bit more won't it but I don't know if it'll be quite what I'm thinking of I'm going to leave him to to glue on there and then I'm going to cut him round with a bit of the edge but I do like this um, I think I'm going to fold that back fold it in can't even fold that in straight look I'm really struggling today sorry folks I was thinking whether to have or whether it would work to have just a little bit I don't think that's going to be long enough now. If that went on there. Maybe I don't want to doily. It just doesn't feel quite right. I don't really want to cover up all of the bag, but I'm just wondering if a bit of that you can tell I haven't thought through what I want to do today, can't you? A bit of that on there with my seahorse. I think I like that. Right, let me move this out of the way. This I'm going to glue on the inside of there. I'm going to put it down on the inside just to strengthen that edge of the bag because it is going to be a pocket. So that can go on the inside there. Like that. And then this I'm going to glue it in the back. I'm going to glue it down to the back and then that will strengthen the back of it as well won't it aren't pretty bags difficult to come by I'm not going to cut the notch in there right now because I know what will happen <laughs> it'll just tear the bag although I could use a piece of um, paper. I feel all a bit sixes and sevens today. If I keep deserting you, I do apologise. Let's see if we can cut a notch or if it's going to ruin the bag. Should we give it a go? It's not going to be in the middle. I'll tell you now. Oh, but it did cut it. Good enough. Good enough indeed. Then this. Oh, Carol. Why did you even try to tear that? So wonky donkey. Okay. That can then go on there like that and be cut off about there 
Sorry folks, I'm really faffing with this, aren't I? Real-time crafting, that's what it is. Real-time make a mess on the floor. I'm just chucking everything, tell you. Right, so that will go on there like that. Now, I like that better. I like that. And then my seahorse... I'm going to cut him out, so bear with me. Okay, sleeve roll up time. I've just put a bit of that green paper there at the back, just to kind of strengthen that bag. That is going to go on there like that. And then my little seahorse on there like that. And I've left a little, only a little bit of the green around him, but I think it does show him up a little bit. Maybe, you see, he's got his tail cut off. I don't know if that's what's putting me off. Maybe I want a fish after all that. Can you believe it? Oh, so indecisive. But I tell you what, I do like this. So I'm going to do, I'm going to crack on and do this and then think about what else I would put on there at a later point. How's that? So that is going to go on there like that. And then that will be a bag that will go on there like so. And I may, I may just put shells on it. I've got a couple of shells that I might rest on it. I may put him underneath, you know, a shell over him. I'm just undecided and I can't find the shells. I've put them somewhere very safe. Oh, there's one. See, he could then be hooked around the shell, couldn't he? Which way do the shells go? That way. So I'm going to play with him afterwards, but I like this. So he can go in my little box. They can move out the way and I'm going to stick this on there. Yes, I am. Oh, do you know, again, I thought that the ph my phone had switched off. How nerve wracking is it when you think that's happened? I, I am folding this paper over the back of the bag because I'm wondering if I want it to be a tuck at the back as well as at the front. Um, a pocket at the top as well as... A tuck at the side so I'm thinking it might be a little tuck there as well as it's a pocket so that would get glued down on three sides then I might put some more paper down here because it is just a bag so if I'm going to stick it down I want it to be a bit stronger so I think I might put some paper there and there just to support it while I glue it down but I do like it on there I just want to think about how to decorate it and it may be right to put shells on it because we've got the shells there. So that is part way done. So put that to dry. Where did I put my other thing to dry? There. So that's almost dry, but I want to stitch around it before I put it on. So those two can go and dry. OK, the other thing that I was thinking is I've got these pages um, that are book, just book pages. I've got two and I thought they might be nice as flips to go on a page. So if I decorate one with you and um, that'll about take me up to time to go time. I've lost the piece of paper I wanted. I'm going to look for it just one moment. Okay so what I want to do is I want to make this a pocket here and then I'm going to do it as a flip. So I think I'm going to put this, I had I printed this again hadn't I to get the other pocket so I think I'm going to put that on there on that bit and that's as far as I've got <laughs> I hope you weren't expecting miracles folks but I'm going to glue that on and again I might sew around this one as well so all it is is a book page around the world in 80 days so that's quite 
appropriate, I think, for a seaside journal, isn't it? Except I'm going to cover it up, of course. I'm going to put that on there. I don't need to go all the way to the end because that's going to stick down on there. Just chop those edges off. I think if you're making something and you get to a point where you think, I really don't know what to do with it next, move on, put that piece to one side and then just move on. So I need something on here now. And I might well use those shelves. And then the back I was going to... I'm just wondering whether I should put something all the way around. I've got those brown ones of that somewhere, haven't I, that I didn't use. Although it's not going to be big enough to go all the way. A little bit shorter, couldn't I? I'm going to make that a bit shorter there. It still won't fit, I know. Did anybody see where I put my ruler here? I don't think I want that to be more than... Let's do it at two inches, but that might still be too much. I'm going to do it at an inch and a half. Inch and a half. Okay. Does that look level to you, folks? Not in the slightest, no. Do that at three and a quarter. I think that's plenty wide enough. There we go, that's level. And then I think I'm going to use this, this to back it. But I don't think it will go all the way around. So if it went on there, it might do actually. So I think what I'm going to do is put the glue on this and then attach it to that. It's quite an easy way to make a pocket. And then I'm giving myself choices. This one is going to be a flip out for sure. Because I'm decorating it on the reverse. So this will be a flip out. Oh, it's a lump of glue. I'm going to say there's something lumpy there. And then that will fold. I might fold that in. There, and put some glue on it. Saves me faffing trying to cut it off, doesn't it? Okay. How do you get yourself hemmed into such a little space? I don't know. I'm going to cut those edges off. I'm not going to cut this edge off 
because you'll see in a minute that will go like that so that will fold over I still don't know if that's level is it my eye that's out today not literally folks my eye isn't out no that's level so what will happen let's find a page pick a page any page so for example if it was going on here this will fold to the back and that will be the flip so that will flip that way and then you've got this paper down there which I don't mind that's absolutely fine and then it will stitch all the way around there and then that will be a tuck I know I shouldn't do it when it's wet should I I want a slightly bigger there so that will be on a page like that I will stitch along those sides and then that because I've left that extra paper there is what will be the flip and it'll flip out I could leave, I could add on to it and have that as a tuck spot as well and I may do that I don't know at this stage but that's that one so that was quite a big a, a big a quick piece of ephemera wasn't it or a big a quick pocket so that's not bad going at all how are we doing for time 36 minutes okay so I think I've got I've got another one that I'm going to do exactly the same with but I may cut this down um and not have it as a flip but have it as a tuck two two tucks I don't know might use it differently so we'll see um so I think I'm cracking on I think I'm doing okay I may do one more um video of pockets because I've got a couple of other things that I want to try um and I think I've got loads to put in, but I need to do some tags and bits and pieces as well. So I do hope that you like it. I, I love the kit. It's a fabulous kit. So I'm just trying to get the, everything back so that I can keep it all together. I love how it's turning out so far and I hope you like it as well. So I'll catch up with you all later and please take care. Bye everyone. Bye bye.